The South Carolina's Alvin Green. Oh, come on. Yeah, he's a the guy. mystery Green candidate. 16. The mystery candidate who shocked everyone when he won last week's Democratic primary for U.S. Senate. The 32 year old political novice, that's one way to put it, who is facing a <laughs> felony obscenity charge, was able to defeat four term lawmaker Vic Rawl without raising the money or putting up campaign signs. Yesterday, House Majority Whip James Clyburn reiterated his doubts about Green's credibility. Something untoward was going on. Now, all of a sudden, we see that Congressman Joe Wilson. Uh, campaign manager was in fact managing the campaign of my uh, primary opponent. I saw the patterns in this. I know a Democratic pattern, I know a Republican pattern, and I saw in the Democratic primary uh, elephant done all over uh, the place. My goodness, why would he say that about Alvin Green? <laughs> Why, he's just saying that because Alvin Green's black. Wait a second. No, no that one doesn't that's work not, that here. Doesn't work. Um, I'd say that he might be right. What? What? Wait, do you think Republicans would, <laughs> would try to set up a guy like a federal obscenity charge? I mean, I know the Republican Party's been pretty lame it's over the past one. 10 years. I think, I actually, think that's, that's pretty good. No, listen, um, I, I, I think our good friend Jim is very embarrassed because. Obviously, the Democratic establishment in South Carolina wasn't able to stop this it's guy. Yeah. You know, he said the situation on the ground in South Carolina was a clink to elephant dung. He's, in fact, smelling it here. He's looking at it in this situation, thinking that Alvin Green could possibly be a GOP plant. He's actually pointing to a situation in his own race where he ran against a businessman named Gregory Brown, who, in fact, hired as one of his campaign consultants a man by the name of Preston uh, Grisham, who is actually a campaign manager for none other than Joe Wilson, the Republican congressman of South Carolina of You Lie fame, Chris. So here you have a GOP campaign operative working on behalf of a Democrat who's also working for two other Democratic campaigns, oh sorry, Republican campaigns within the state of South Carolina. Something doesn't smell right to Jim Clyburn. Couple that with Alvin Green. Now, what's going to happen to Alvin Green? It looks like Jim Clyburn really wants an investigation to go on into what exactly happened here. Possibility of him appearing before a judge in the next few weeks to explain where he got that 10400 to file from because as he told the court in South Carolina when he got in trouble for the obscenity charge that he was indigent and had no money, where that 10000 400 come from. It's going to be quite interesting to see.